What's happening everyone? It's your host Nick here once again with another 1080p projector review. This one is from the brand FebFox and at this price range it delivers high quality HD projection, dual band Wi-Fi screen mirroring and Bluetooth audio connectivity. My full review is up next so stay tuned. And welcome back. This model is called the FebFox JQ450 and it has a contrast ratio of 10,000 to 1. It has 400 ansi lumens. It has 100,000 hours of lamp life. It has a maximum projection size of 250 inches. And I've already mentioned it has Bluetooth and Wi Fi connectivity. In this package contains the JQ450 itself, one infrared remote. A 14 inches HDMI cable, one AC power cable, one AV cable, the kickstand screw, a user manual, and a carrying case. To the front of this projector, instead of the usual projector lens cover, it has a sliding hatch to protect the lens when not in use. To the front also has an IR sensor. If you turn to the side on its right, it has two HDMI input ports, two USB 2.0 ports, one AV port, a headphone jack and its exhaust vent. To its rear has one VGA port, a rear facing IR sensor and the AC power inlet. To its left side is where you'll find the intake vent and a removable dust filter. To the top it has manual controls with a power LED, its focus adjustment wheel, and its vertical keystone correction lever. And below this projector has four anti skid rubber pads, a screw hole for mounting to a tripod or ceiling mount, an additional exhaust vent, the grill for its internal speaker, and a screw type kickstand. Here I have it set up on my projector screen, and when you turn on the power, there is a no splash screen and you are taken directly to its main menu. Its main menu is different in its layout but has the same core functions as most other projectors. On the left is where you can select its various input sources and to its right is where you can access media on storage devices such as flash drives and external hard drives. It has a support page with contact information and a surprise page that simply advises you to contact them directly. In the settings area is where you'll find picture settings where you can adjust its picture mode, color temperature, aspect ratio, noise reduction, screen direction, and its zoom settings. Under sound options, you can change the sound mode, adjust the balance when connected to an audio device via Bluetooth, set auto volume leveling, and you have your Bluetooth settings where you can pair to Bluetooth speakers and audio receivers. You have sleep timer settings and system options where you can change the language, restore factory default settings, you have blending options, OSD duration, you have a blue screen mode and software updates. When you load media such as pictures and videos via its USB ports from flash drives and external hard drives, you can use it to create slideshows at weddings, funerals, memorial services, parties, outdoor camping, and you can even use it for advertising because as you can see, it shows pretty well even with the lights on. For playing videos via USB, your limit is 1080p format, and for surround sound formats, it can only play DTS HD Master Audio and DTS X. It cannot play Dolby Atmos, Dolby Surround, or Dolby True HD. Those can only be played from devices connected to its HDMI ports, such as Android TV boxes. Thank you. 
now, you may have noticed that its projection quality is really good compared to some previous models, hence it justifies the price range for this model. I can also confirm that the included infrared remote has great reception and responds to commands 90% of the times you press it. For mobile screen mirroring, I'm pleased that they made this process real simple. You don't need to log in or connect it to any Wi-Fi network. You simply enter the screen mirroring page and on your mobile device, using a Miracast or Airplay app, mirror your device to it. This is possible as it emits its own Wi-Fi signal. So here I have it connected to an Android TV box and I have fine-tuned its picture and color settings for the best possible display. And now I'll play a list of 4K videos through the box and have the projector downscale it to 1080p. would be enough because it would give them the same number of points as Atletico but the head-to-head -head goal difference is what counts in the case of a tie on points the mosaic of the camp no Here is a sample when applied to 3D gaming. So from this demonstration, I'm quite satisfied and impressed with the projection quality of this model. I will now test its Bluetooth and song feature. To connect to a Bluetooth speaker or receiver is simple. You just open the settings area under song settings and scroll down to its Bluetooth options. Enable Bluetooth and perform a search for nearby Bluetooth devices. Once the name of your Bluetooth speaker or receiver appears, you can connect to it automatically. For fan noise, it measured 55 decibels on the mobile app, and here's a sample of the noise it generates. In a summary, on a scale of 1 to 10, I give this projector an 8 for its picture quality, screen mirroring and Bluetooth audio features, its design and focus adjustment. Where it's lacking is that it doesn't have horizontal keystone correction and it doesn't have Dolby decoders. And with that said, I place this projector in the medium grade category and I highly recommend it as a great projector to purchase that delivers value for money. So if you would like to get your hands on one, you can do so via their Amazon store using the link in the description below this video. You can also take advantage of their $100 discount coupon. 
So give this video the thumbs up if you like this model and you would like to support this channel. Your likes, views and comments are important to the continuation of this channel. And if you are now tuning in for the first time, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell next to it to keep in the loop as to when I release new videos or decide to do a giveaway. Thanks for watching, stay tuned and I'll be seeing you in the next one.